oil for Andy here. Now today, I'm gonna do some homemade wine. Made out of wine, I'm sorry, made out of fruit juice. I got some, I did start some last week um, with cranberry juice. This time I'm gonna do it with orange juice. So what you're gonna need is a container. Use this one that I had water in. Make sure it's nice and clean. That's uh, a five litre container. You're gonna need the top for it with a hole drilled in the middle. Explain that in a minute. I've got four litres of orange juice, some yeast. I'm just using bread yeast. Um, you can use uh, wine yeast, anything like that. I'm just using good old bread yeast. And some sugar. And that really is about it. So, what we're going to do is let's get the sugar first. I've got a kilo. A kilo of sugar. All we want sugar. We're going to get this opened up. And we're going to get that poured into the plastic container. Right, I've got a funnel, I've got a funnel as well, so hopefully I won't spill anything. So we're going to put the whole pack of sugar into this container. Takes a bit of time, but it's better to do it this way. Otherwise, if you try to pour it in from the bag, you just end up with it everywhere. As I say, I've got some cranberry juice um, brewing away in the cupboard. Um, or cran what will be cranberry wine, hopefully, when that's done. It's been gone seven days. So um, I'm going to leave that probably for another seven days um, and basically see how it get get on. But what you've got to remember here is yeast loves sugar. Put that all in that. Don't have to use white sugar. Um, it's just Every day run-of-the-mill run white sugar. I mean, you can use brown sugar if you really want to. But this is just a simple way. Cheap booze. Cost of living crisis. Let's make our own booze. Right. Then, we're going to get your, cart, your cartons of orange juice. We can get it open. Make a bit of a mess. And then we're just going to pour these straight into here, into this container. Squeeze everything out. But make sure as well, obviously before you start pouring these cartons, that you give it, make sure they're well shook up, I've been shaking them up before I start just make sure everything's mixed up now, this orange juice is a smooth orange juice okay, you haven't got new bits in or anything like that and this container, it's a 5 litre container but I'm using 4 litres of orange juice because you need to leave that little space at the top That's the second one in. I'll come the third. I hope for eat. Within 14 days, we'll have some nice orange wine. Now, I've never used the orange juice before. I've heard people using it. And um, it's supposed to turn out A OK. So, um, yeah, we'll see. That's 
just the third one. One more to go. Now the orange juice, got it from Aldi's, um, works out, just shot a bit over, um, works out about 85 pence a carton. So you're gonna brew somewhere around about, you'll get just under four liters of wine by the time we're finished. Well, there you go, and that's your little gap at the top. Okay, next stage, take the cap, um, take the funnel out, screw the cap on. Now, I have drilled a hole in here, so I'm just going to get some cloth. To hold it over the top, because so I need to give this damn good shake. Obviously, I don't want it going all over the kitchen. Now, you really, really got to give this a good shake. Get all the sugar mixed in. That's the most important thing. Make sure everything's mixed up well. Oh, that should do it. And then, unscrew and we're going to put our bread yeast in the mixture now I'm going to use three packets of this yeast that's your first one Second one in. Then we'll get the third one in. As you know, yeast loves sugar. So this is a perfect way of getting some cheap alcohol. And that's the third packet. Put the old top on again. Now this is the important bit, get the cloth on the top so it don't spray and we need to give it a good mix. Make sure that's mixed up, the yeast, so it can start eating onto the sugar. There you go. And that's it basically. Now what we do need to do to cover the top obviously when the yeast start working with the sugar that's going to release gases etc if you don't put something over the top that's going to end up going all over the place so i'm going to use you can use an old well you can you can get airlock caps whatever i obviously obviously use sometimes a balloon a uh, long balloon stretch it over just snip the end off you can't get any bacteria into it which will um, harm the yeast um, and it also lets the lets the gases out you can use a balloon use a rubber johnny that doesn't matter really i'm going to use on this occasion a gripper bag i haven't got any balloons at the moment so i'm gonna get a gripper bag if that will fit over Straight over like that, and then you need to secure that. So I'm going to secure it with a couple of elastic bands. Tuck it. Oh. Hold on, get it right. Double at first, I think that might be easier. You want this coming off. Now, what you're going to have to do, that's that on. 
I'll stick another one on to be on the safe side. Yep, nice and tight. Oh, I suppose you could use a cable tie if you really wanted to. Don't get the bloody thing over. through that we'll get there in a minute there that's nice and tight and then what you need to do really is just see that just dip the corner off and that then will allow all the gases to come out and escape through there and that saves the old bacteria from getting in. So really, that is it. Now that is ready to go away in the cupboard. I'll just show you what I did last week. I have one here brewing away. I think that's, that's not far off being done. Now, you knew it was on this one pinch one of the boys rubber jollies but it's doing the trick so hopefully this will be ready in a few more days to try and then what i'll do i'll shoot another video we'll have a tasting and see what that's like but we'll put that back in the cupboard and also i'm going to put this in the cupboard and this hopefully will be ready in 14 days Right, that's away in the cupboard. Nice, nice dark, warm area. Let the yeast do the job. Okay, just quickly then. So I used four litres of orange juice, three packs of yeast, just ordinary bread yeast, and one kilo of white sugar. That's all you need. Stay safe everyone, we'll get back to this in a part two when that's ready for testing. Like and subscribe to my channel, help the channel out, that'll be great for more interesting videos to come. Thanks all, catch you later.